It's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and my producer Dan is here with me. Good morning. We're working, even though everybody's on vacation up here. Um, And let's get into some Yee tea. Now, 21 Savage is on the new cover of Rolling Stone, and he talked about a lot of different things. Um, But one thing that went viral was him talking about his friendship with Drake. He said, I feel like describing male friendships is zesty as hell. Is that true, Dan? You're a guy. I disagree. All right. You have a, who's your best friend? Uh, I got a handful. Probably huh? Zach, John, Mario, Jay, okay. Al. Shout out to I got all no the problem best friends. Telling them I, I got no problem saying I love them. All right. He also I says no that um, emotional outbursts should be reserved for women while men should approach conflict with logic. He said, like, in the argument, a man's supposed to think more about what he say. I feel like a woman is supposed to cry. Like, F this ish. Um, and then he said that his lyrics, most of it is fiction. He said, I just think of it in my head. Some of it be based off of real life, but a lot of it be creative stories. And he said, also said he only started celebrating his birthday recently because he said he got shot on his birthday. He got into a car accident with his mom on his other birthday. So he always felt like his birthday was cursed. And so he would sit in the house on his birthday every year. I feel like all these artists are now saying that their lyrics, by the way, are fiction. As they should. And we're going to rock with it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is talking about his hip replacement surgery. And, you know, he fell. And he said, you may have heard that Humpty Kareem had a great fall. It's true. I was at the Manhattan Transfer's final public concert at Disney Hall, ready to read a letter from Kamala Harris and provide some praise of my own for a group I love and admire, but I fell and was carted off to UCLA Hospital with a broken hip. I like to say I fell while trying to save a child from plunging over a balcony, but I just tripped. <laughs> it's not a great story. Hard for me to accept that a once world-class athlete just stumbled, but age is the great equalizer and humbles us all. That is a fact. It's like a tree falling, too. We can't play basketball like we used to. We can't go up the stairs like we used to. (sighs) He's like seven feet, too. All right. Money Long was on the 85 South show, and she was talking about energy and negative energy and what her being in the studio with J. Cole taught her. Here's what she said. I remember one time I had a moment in the studio where J. Cole was there, and I was just having a bad day, and I started just talking trash. Cole came in the room, and within two minutes, he heard what we were talking about, and he got up and left. And I just remember being like, damn. What we why, say? Why did he do that? Yeah. But then I realized we weren't on the same frequency. He, he not on that. Complaining. That kind of conversation does not circulate in higher level rooms. It's he didn't energy. judge me. He didn't say nothing bad. He sat there, he listened for like a minute, and then he got up and left. <laughs> wow. And listen, I, first of all, I love the fact that she was okay with sharing that story because um, it is definitely a learning experience. She could have been offended when that happened, uh, but instead she learned from it and decided to talk about that with other people. And that's something we all can learn from. There's times that you got to check yourself and check your negative energy and say, okay, why am I acting like this? A lot of times I always say this, that's a reflection of your own issues. When you're talking negatively and talking about other people in a, a negative manner, a lot of times you're not happy. All right, well, that is your Yeetie. And when we come back, we have Under the Radar. These are the stories that are not necessarily in the headlines. But sometimes these are things that we don't want you to pass over. Sometimes they're just funny. Like Doritos, they have a nacho cheese flavored liquor. And we're going to talk about that. Would you be interested in drinking some Dorito liquor? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Under the Radar is next. Way Up.